If you've seen any number of vlogs on my channel before, you would see that yes, I'm married with kids, happily married, but I rarely feature my wife on the channel and there's a good reason for that. She doesn't want to be featured. She'd rather stand out of frame and let me get the kids and capture the vacations and whatever else I'm going to capture, but she really doesn't really want to be in frame of the camera. But every once in a while I'm able to sneak in a moment or two where I ask her a quick question or I get a profile picture, I get a profile video of her and those are my favorite moments in my vlogs because it's like a little gem that I get to insert into the vlog which shows the woman I love. Now we recently celebrated 15 years of marriage this past August of 2020 and I set out to make some epic vlog about it you know I brought the cameras and I took a lot of b-roll but I found it difficult to to weave together the story that I wanted to tell because you know my wife didn't really want to be on the camera but now in January of 2021 as I'm thinking back on the last 15 years plus of marriage there's some things I'd like you to know I want to tell you why I first fell in love with Erica I want to tell you a quick story about our engagement and then I want to tell you a few tips, a few things that I've learned from 15 years of marriage. First off, the reason I fell in love with Erica was simple. I was attracted to her physically, emotionally, and there was something supernatural about it. There was a supernatural spiritual attraction and I can whittle it down to, I can narrow it down to uh, what is described in Proverbs 30. One. I'm just going to read to you a couple of verses. Proverbs 31, verse 10. A wife of noble character, who can find? She is worth far more than rubies. Her husband has full confidence in her and lacks nothing of value. She brings him good, not harm, all the days of her life. I saw in Erica a character that I wanted in my wife. So not only was I attracted to her, physically and emotionally, but spiritually, I knew we were on the same page. That is so important. Verse 18, she sees that her trading is profitable and her lamp does not go out at night, meaning she works really hard. I knew that I wanted a, a wife that felt comfortable pursuing professional things and, and making uh, income and all those sorts of things. And so that's something that she's valued and I value in her and she has been very profitable and she has done great things for our family financially. Verse 20, she opens her arms to the poor and extends her hands to the needy. My wife has an incredible amount of uh, compassion and empathy for others. Verses 30 and 31, charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Give her the reward she has earned and let her works bring her praise at the city gate. Everyone gets a little older. Everybody gets a wrinkle. Uh, nobody looks the same age forever, right? And so we better make sure that when we choose our spouse, when we choose the person that we're going to uh, link up with for the rest of our lives, that it's not only on physical attraction. It's not only on that, though physical attraction is still there. The second thing I want you to know about is that when I was sort of figuring out the next step for our relationship, we've been dating for a while and I knew that we were coming to the end of kind of that dating season and I needed to finalize the decision I had already made in my mind. I had already made the decision, but I wanted to make sure that it was a wise decision. Uh, I wanted to marry her and so I prayed about it. I asked God, listen, I want to marry her. Would you give me a sign kind of of your approval that this is good? And I knew that if I could get a sign like that, I would never, ever have a doubt. No matter what came up in the future, no matter what hardships came up, I would never have a doubt. After that prayer, God answered me with a literal sign, a hand painted sign blown by the wind fell in front of my feet. And all it said was congrats on the engagement. I can get more into that story if you'd like sometime. I've told that story in a past vlog, but that just gave me the confidence and boost to know that God was in it, that he would be there with us, and that he is uh, approving of this. So her Heavenly Father uh, allowed me 
to ask her to marry me. And because of our faith, and because we're on the same page with those things, that has been an anchor in our marriage these past 15 years and will continue to be an anchor. Here's just a couple of things I've learned about marriage and relationships. Communication is number one. When we're not communicating well, when we're sort of uh, missing each other in, in our thought, things don't go well. We start kind of getting out of, out of line with one another and it's, it's divisive. But if you can communicate regularly about the most important things, if you can stay on the same page with those things, then you can weather any storm. So what are those most important things you need to be on the same page? Uh, with each other about finances, parenting, your priorities, and your faith. If you're not on the same page with these things, it's going to be really hard to be one, to be united, to be moving forward in a positive direction together. Thankfully, we are on the same page with those things. In the times when we felt a little distant from one another, one of us or both of us had, had kind of varied off that path that we had both agreed upon. And so we have to come back together to those basics and say, oh yeah, that's right. That's what we're committed to. That's what we're about make that decision again and move forward together. Now, this last tip is for anybody in ministry, pastors, youth pastors, whatever. We share a lot about our family life and we share a lot about things we experience at home in messages and videos, uh, in, in writing. And so there's a certain amount of things that are good to share. And then you don't want to overshare. You can share your personal defects, you can share your personal struggles with most people, but you can't share your wives. And here's why. She doesn't have any. As far as you're concerned, she's perfect. Yeah, yeah, you say, yeah, but she's not. No, she is. She's perfect. Focus on the perfectness of your wife, not on anything else. So 15 years later, would I have made the same decisions to date and marry my wife? Absolutely. A thousand times over, yes. Knowing everything I know now, knowing every up and down, knowing everything we faced together, and everything I don't know about the future, absolutely, yes, I choose Erica. I choose her again and again and again. I love you, Erica. Happy belated anniversary. I know we celebrated back in August and we'll celebrate again this August. Let's consider this video a little half anniversary celebration. So happy almost 15 and a half years. Can't wait to see what God does. After all these years, I still love you. Through every single tear we've ever cried Cause after all these years I brought the two of us right here No place I'd rather be after all these